recording. Okay. So. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to be on you. Andrea came over tonight, and we're doing us like a twilight slumber party. So we have our Voltori makeup on and all that good stuff. So I thought right now would be a fun time to do the best friend tag. Yay! And for Andrea. <laughs> Do you know what the best friend tag is? I have no idea, but I've seen, like, husband and mom tag, but I don't know what this is. Okay, so this is basically the same thing. This is best friend tag, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you questions and you answer them. That's all it is. Okay, cool. Should be easy. Okay. I think you'll know all the answers. Okay. Okay, so best friend tag questions. Number one, how and when did you meet, or did we meet? At our high school, Conley, um, in the restroom. <laughs> okay, technically it was not in the restroom. It was before you went into the restroom. See, and then you guys came back out. And technically we always we've we've never agreed on this part because I always say that it was in the restroom and I commented on your watch, but you always say it was outside the restroom, but I don't remember this outside. So I don't know. It's cuz I remember exactly what happened, dude. It's cuz like it was right at our lunch break. Mm -hmm. I was at my locker, which I was always slow as hell at, like, getting all that stuff done anyway. Yeah. I had just closed my locker, and you and Priscilla walked by, and you go, oh, hey, cool watch, or nice watch, or something okay. like that. And I was like, oh, thank you. And I didn't want to, like, stalk y'all and, like, follow you into the bathroom, so I waited until y'all came out, and I was like, <laughs> and then I was all a dork, I was like, hey, y'all seem pretty cool, can I sit with y'all today? I remember that. Okay. Yeah, it was, like, the second day of school, too, and we've been best friends since, since, yeah. and that was, like, Two, oh, my God, 99, over 10 years ago. Yeah, 11, 99, 12. 10, 11, 99 to 2011 is 12. Because 2010 is 10, and then 99, then 11, that's 12. There you go. A dozen years. That's and next time. year will be a baker's dozen. Yay! Yay! So that's how we met. Um, number two, what's what's your favorite memory of us together? Um, let me think. See, okay, I'm sorry. I don't mean to interrupt, but these questions are like... Like, before, with the husband ones, it was like, when did you know that I was the one? Blah, blah, blah. And this one, it's like, what's your favorite memory together? So, I guess we're supposed... Your teeth are looking really good. Did you whiten them? Uh-uh. I'm sorry. I'm not... <laughs> I'm just, like, sitting over here staring at her talking. I'm like, damn, her teeth look good. Uh, not that they always look bad, but right. they just look good, you know. Um, so, I guess, what's your favorite memory together? What's, I'll ask you, what's your favorite memory? Um... That's hard. There's a bunch of them. How do I, like, narrow it down? Fuck. I would say one of my favorite ones is when Andrea won tickets to see Snoop Dogg. And she had VIP. She got VIP tickets to see Snoop Dogg, actually. And she was in a serious, committed relationship. And she took me instead of her boyfriend because she knew I was going to, like, hate on her ass forever. She didn't date me. It was the right decision. You know it was. And anyway, so we got to eat, like, barbecue. We had front row on the balcony. Yeah. Which in some places seems crappy, but at this place is actually, like, the best seats in the house because mm -hmm. you're not, like, down there with all the m mash, m mosh pit. pit. I'm all mash pit. Even though there was no mosh pit for Snoop Dogg, but there was a bunch yeah, of there was a bunch of people. people. Yeah, and you don't want to be down there with, like, all no. the common like people. Commoners. <laughs> no, it was just too many people, and you get smushed. Yeah. And you know, we were enjoying our barbecue, and we didn't have to stand. We could just sit there yeah, in our awesome, seat, dude. and you could, like, see him dancing, his little uncle. On the uncle, stage, and his uncle, Jim Bug. Uncle Jimbug, yeah, just dancing. Yeah, just, like, like yeah. never ending. That was uh, fun. That was a good I night. Like, we didn't, um, I don't think, I don't know if we were drinking age or not, but we didn't drink or nothing like that. We just had a good time. We just, yeah. like, ate barbecue, ate good food, like, watched Snoop Dogg get down. That's one of my favorite memories. And also, um, for my 18th birthday, Andrea also won uh, Matchbox 20 tickets. That was the one I was thinking of. Which was is, my like, favorite. also, like, my favorite band at the time. Still one of my favorite bands. That's the one I was going to say would be the Matchbox 20 concert. Yeah, and I love that a lot, too, because, like, that was probably, like, mine and Andrea's, like, first really big thing that we went, one of the really big things that we went to go see together. The first really big thing we went and saw together was uh, 
Foo Fighters. Oh, and Red uh, Hot Chili Peppers. Red Hot Chili Peppers. We had like the worst seats in the world, but we my did. mom bought them for us, and like it was awesome. Bought the tickets for us. It was awesome. Yes, it was. We're concert girls. We like to go to concerts we together because like we keep an eye on each other, but we also have a lot of fun. So. Oh, you know another good memory. The 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 very first rave. Well, the only rave that I went to. The very first and only that I enjoyed quite a bit. That was fun. You got to see all the little kids that were on ecstasy rubbing. They were sitting at the Austin Music Hall, like, rubbing each other. And I was <laughs> laughing my ass off, you know. You could see their little, you know, braceleted arms that were glowing with and all, all their the beads. pacifiers. And the, yeah, they were all stuck like, in their pacifiers. And like, <laughs> it just looked like a bunch of people dry humping each other. Using, like, Vicks Vapor Rub, like, over, <laughs> under their noses and, like, over their eyelids or some shit. Oh, like, yes. I don't know, weird shit. Yes, uh, that was a good one. Andre and I never got into, like, the whole big drug scene no. as teenagers. So we didn't understand, like, we didn't, like, for me, anyway, I didn't know, like, what the hell was going on. Me like, either. girls, girls would come up to you and be like, I'm on a candy tour of freaking La La Land, and I'm <laughs> like, what the hell does that mean? And they're like, I'm taking this, this, and that, and I'm just like, man, I just want to, like, hear some cool music, and, like, I right. find my friends, like. And then they start saying all this shit, like, they're rolling, I'm like, what are you rolling yeah. with? Yeah, what? I mean, where y'all going? Because to me, Andre, we're rolling means, like, we're rolling we're, we're out, rolling like, out. we're going yeah. somewhere. And they're like, oh, we're rolling, I was like, where are you going? No, she's I like, I feel like just a no, single no, little white girl, like. I'm rolling, <laughs> I'm like, tripping, I was like, oh, bitch, well, you should have just said you were hot, then I don't yeah, understand. Yeah, we, we get that, yeah. I mean, we understand that anyway, you know. I don't get this rolling. I don't understand. It doesn't compute. Okay, describe each other in one word. You go first, because you're the guest. Awesome. Uh, I was going to say spontaneous. Because, like, Andrea, like, might not be the one to be like, oh, hey, let's go do this. But, like, if you call her and you're like, hey, let's go do this, she'll drop anything she's doing usually and be like, okay, let's go do it, dude. Yeah. So I think you're spontaneous, because, like, you might not be the one to, like, initiate the shit all the time, which sometimes you are, but even if you're not, you're always down for, like, a good time. And Andrea can make a good time out of, like, nothing, which is what I like about you, too, because, like, sometimes I'm like, whatever, I'm bored, this is stupid, and you're like, no, dude, look, it's not stupid, look, we can have fun, you yeah. know what I mean? Something. <laughs> so I'm going to say spontaneous and, like, awesome, but spontaneous, so. Yay. Okay, um, number four, what's your dream job? So I don't know if that would be what's... What's my dream job? And then I'll answer for you, I guess. What I think your dream job is. Oh, I'm supposed to think what your dream job yeah, is? Yeah, like, what's your dream job? Um, These questions are confusing me. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know, like... Or do you want to just say what yours is and I'll say what mine is? No, no, let me take a stab at it. Okay. Because I know what I think you would be good at. I don't know because you do so much different things and you're very like, you know, well-rounded and and all into this and that. So it's kind of hard to to narrow it down. <laughs> oh my god! Um, you got your finger in so many different pies. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know which pie to narrow it down. Shoot. Um, I really don't know, but we're gonna go with. We're just gonna. I'm just gonna say mom, that a housewife. That's yeah. your dream job as a housewife. Yeah. Like, when I was younger, I was always, like, one of those kids who was, like, I hate kids. Like, I never even liked people my own age. You know what I mean? Yeah. I barely liked people at all, really. But, like, I really, I always hated children when I was one. Like, I always used to say, I hate kids, and I am one. And, like, people would look at me like, oh, my God, what's coming out of this child's mouth? And I'm just like, seriously, kids are stupid. They really I are. mean, they don't know anything, you know no. what I mean? They can't even drive or, like, no, order alcohol. Days. You know, I mean, what can they do? Babies can't even read. What the hell? <laughs> I'm going to get so many comments about that. So yeah. Okay, what's my favorite makeup brand? Wait, you didn't even oh, wait. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I think you'd be an awesome chef because, like, you really can cook oh. and... You know, I know you don't have as much time for it as you would like as you work no. full time and shit, but, like, I think you can really cook really well, and I like, like, how every Christmas you make, like, cookies for everybody and stuff like that. I really <laughs> like those little, like, shortbread ones with, like, the white stuff on the outside, those little, like, macaroon ones or something. I don't know. Oh, they're the yummy. ones that, like, have pecans in it? And yeah, they're, like, little half moon. Yeah, they're, like, crescent, they're crescent cookies, or sometimes they're called 
uh, Czech cookies, wedding cookies are Mexican wedding cookies. They're yummy. Yeah, I will eat them at any wedding and or yes. not wedding. Yes, they're buttery <laughs> and they got the little Yeah, they're all, they're like shortbread cookies, but they're kind of like more crumbly than shortbread yeah, cookies. The they're yummy, but and like... they're rolled in, like, are dusted in um, powdered sugar. Yeah, those things are like my favorite ones that you make for me. I would like like a whole... Just make those for me this year. Okay, you gotta go. <laughs> I seriously will just eat those. Okay. Okay, um, what's your favorite makeup brand? Okay, I'm going to say what's my favorite makeup brand because these questions don't make sense. Like, all the other questions, I'm supposed to ask you stuff about me or our relationship. So I'm just going to assume that's the way this okay. works. And then you can do it to but me I can if guess, you want. I'll guess yours anyway. I'm just going to say Elf. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, Elf. Because it's cheap and it works and it's awesome. It, it and is. Um, Good stuff. I like it. And they just came out with new brushes that have like jewels and stuff on the bottom of them. Oh my them. god, I was at Target last night and I did saw it. Did you see it. them? The did purple. you squeal like I did? All yes! Like, <laughs> the purple and the pink and like the blue or teal or. Yeah. I think that's what it was. I didn't see all so. these colors. I know there's like a blue, there's like a purple, there's like a clear. I don't want to see the clear. Like oh, I'm sorry. Was it silver then maybe it was? No. Silver. I that's the clear yeah. I'm talking about. Yeah. Silver. And they have like tweezers and. Yeah, like, and like brushes. brushes, kabuki brushes, and they even have like little brush sets for like $10 with like three or four, Oh, yeah, yeah. Three. The only thing though is I did, I'm not gonna lie, I felt the kabuki brush and it felt kind of cheap. You really? Know? Yeah, the, the little bristles weren't that good. Really? Yeah, that kind of bummed me out because I was really excited. Because sometimes, the, like I really like their Pro Series or their Studio Series or whatever that is of the brushes. Like they don't seem to shed as much and I was hoping these would be good like that. I don't know, I haven't, um, had, or used those, but I just know I just felt the Kabuki and those are very good. But I was still excited about it because it has all these, like, jewels on them, basically. I was going to try to grab that thing over there. You can't, it's attached to the oh, camera. Oh, it's attached to the camera. Well, if you can see that really close, it's kind of like that. It's like rhinestones. Yeah, it's like all jewels. I can never say it's right, Swarovski crystals. Oh, Swar Swarovski Swarovski. Something like that. Yeah, crystals. It's so pretty, and it's, like, all over it. They yeah. are pretty. I would say I like Elf them. Darren bought me one when we went the other day, but I keep forgetting to use it. Um, have you seen the little holiday palettes that they have with, like, eyeshadows and no. eyeliners? What? How much are they? Like, $5? They're between 5 to 15 There's, like, a hundred and something palette of eyeshadow for 15 Really? And they're, like, for Christmas, and they come in the silver. They give you five mm -hmm. eyeliners, purple, teal... Um, gold, silver, and black for five dollars. They give you the lip glosses. They're just like little, pretty box silver with a black bow on I it. Gift this. packs. Aww. And there's even like this little thing that's like a compact. And when you pull it out, it actually looks like a little compact purse. You open it. There's your eyeshadows. You pull it out, and you have like a bronzer, two blushes, Aww, lip gloss that's stuff. Cool. It's really awesome. Okay, number six. You didn't guess my brand though. Oh, I keep forgetting. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have no clue, because, like, I don't know. I have, I've really got no clue. Okay, mine would be recently. Really, I don't wear a lot of makeup. It's not just till recently that I've been starting to wear makeup more. But I really do like my um, Voltori eyeshadow. And it's not because, you know, I am a twi-hard. I'm not going to lie. I'm really not. I am a twi-hard. But it's not because of that. It's just so pretty. Like, I know she did a video, if you saw it, guys, for hers, the silver that she's wearing, which looks so pretty. But it's so shimmery and sparkly. And, yeah, it's a little gay, but I don't care. I like it. It's not gay. Well, it's gay when it's... That's a derogatory term. Okay, that is a derogatory term. But, you know, that's what people say about him when he sparkles Edward in Twilight, so... Okay. But um, I really like it. It's so pretty. But I would say recently would be the LA Colors eyeshadows. Yeah, those I are awesome. They're and they so are like really bright. The, like, yeah, they have a really good color payoff. Like, yes. You don't need a lot, and it gives you really good and color. It's, and it's just so sad that, like, the more expensive brands that, you know, advertise the high pigment don't work that well. Like, I used one brand, I can't remember it right now, but it totally, like, got into my creases and wore off, and so it looked like I had, like, purple lines on my eye. It looked horrible. But with LA Colors, it doesn't do that. Yeah, I like LA Colors. They have a bunch of, like, they have tons of colors, too. And the nail polish LA Colors is awesome. Yeah. And it's so cheap. Oh, 
I heart LA Colors. Dollar Tree, check it yes. out. <laughs> I, heart, I heart LA Colors big time. Um, what is something, number six, what is something that annoys you about the other person? Mm, I don't know how to explain it. Um, you can just, you know, be honest. I won't judge you. Oh, no, you know, I don't care about telling you. I mean, oh. I've told you before. Oh. It doesn't bother me. What is it? Um, like, she gets annoyed really quickly with things, like, you know. You get frustrated. You get easy. frustrated, like with things you're very like just simple okay like let's say we go to a restaurant and I you know order something or I'm taking too long you get frustrated or if I complain about my meal you get frustrated you know she's just very simple about things I just don't like to cause extra drama, drama Stress, or yeah. problems and I feel like if I'm gonna go out and pay for a meal you know with my hard-earned money I want it the way I want it if you can't make it like that then you know why am I here? Why am I paying you money to cook something that it says on there, you know? That's just how I feel. I agree, but I feel like there's a limit. That's where we differ. Yeah. Like, I, I feel, feel like it's okay for us for a couple of things, but for some things you go beyond. Right, and I feel there's no limit for me. Right. I, don't, I don't have She a feels like you're paying for a service and you need to be provided what you're Pretty paying much. for. Exactly. However the hell you ask for it, that's what they need to do. Yes. I feel like it's okay to ask, like I'm a really picky eater, to ask for them to take the peppers out of this or to take the cheese off of that or to just put sort of like plain and dry but like I don't I try to like just make it easy on everybody right and sometimes mine can get a little complicated especially if I'm a vegetarian like you know I gotta ask is there chicken stock in this rice and is there this and is there this and so when you're with people it gets a little annoying because you gotta sit there and listen to this person ask all these questions and I get that you know but it's just something that I have to do and my thing that annoys me about Andrea Wait, what was that? That was your thing that annoys you about me. And somehow that ended up to being like, it's just something I gotta do. I don't know how this works. You're so confused. It's so cute. She's I so know. lost. I'm like a what? blonde person. Like, ah, ah. I think we switched today because usually I'm the ditzy one. Um, okay, okay. And that's not putting down She said, either. I'm impatient, which is true. But basically, what she said is, I have no patience and I get frustrated no. really easily. Yeah. Yes. And it's true. It I is. agree. So, now, what do you... Oh, what, what do I not like about yeah. you or annoys yes. me? Okay. Yes. She is never on time. She's never punctual. Uh, in fact, I'm going to start doing this thing for you, which is telling you to be there a whole two hours before I actually want you there. So, maybe if I tell you, like, four, you'll be there by, like, five or six. Because, wait, perfect example was today. Today, yeah. Yesterday I talked to her, and she's like, when do you want me to come over? Blah, blah, blah. Everything's cool. I'm like, okay, um, well, what's going on? I don't know what you got going on. You got to work. And she's like, no, I'm off. I have this doctor's appointment at, like, noon. She has a bum foot that she's got to, you know, get work yeah. on. And she's like, I got this doctor's appointment at noon, and then, you know, I'm free. I'm good to go. And I'm like, well, give me more time than that because I want to get everything ready and cleaned up and whatever, you know. So, like, give me till, like, 5. And when you called me, and I was like, just call me if you're going to be late. Which is yeah. cool. And she did. She was like, hey, it's almost 5. I'm calling you let you know I'm running late. I'll be there like, an hour. I was like, cool. Not a problem. I do appreciate you calling. Yeah. But it's, like, one of those things, like, at least she called. You know, I appreciate that. But it's, like, she is never, ever on time. You're never on time. I would say time. never. I would say 50 to 75% of the time. I say never. Because when we go out to dinner, if I meet you somewhere, I'm usually on time. Or not usually, about half the time, if not a quarter. Somewhere around there. But she's got to understand, too, like, other things come up. Like, we had to wait for the Toyota guy to come drop off the truck that came. And then I had to go pick Why up the dog. Why couldn't your mom wait, though? From the PetSmart. You know my mother cannot do anything by Her herself. Her mom is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was crazy. Sorry, now I look like the cuckoo. Was that, what are you, the woodpecker? What the... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like I had stuff. Your mom drives me crazy. She pisses me off. The Toyota dealer had to. They actually came because they. I guess they were tired of. Like, See, the reason coming them. to you, yeah. and you could have left and left your mom and there. They dropped the truck off. And the then, brand new truck that just got everything fixed on it. That this member, that the member service membership the people, service. the service people messed up. Yeah. Um, I'm so, just saying. So then also I had to pick up my dog Ella um, from the. 
groomer also. So I had that I, I had understand. extra stuff that I wasn't baby. prepared I for. Because, like, when I called you, hell, I was going to be ready even before, like, at 1. That's why I was like, you want to go early? But then I had other stuff happen that came up. I was just laughing yeah. about it because it wasn't a problem. I'm not pissed off. I was just laughing because oh, yeah. I was like, and she was like, oh, hey, I can come over right after my appointment. I was, like, laughing. I was like, there's yeah. no way. <laughs> then I would have been able to give her, like, so much shit and be like, hey, Andrea, I yeah. thought you could have been right over. I'm just, you know. Anyway, we all have stuff that bothers yeah. us about other people, so... I swear these questions are meant to like cause problems. I'm just kidding. Why? Well, I'm, I'm not. I'm just angry kidding. I'm not mad. either. We've already t like most all this yeah, stuff. We, we already know, know about yeah. it, each other. So that's why we still love each other. That's yeah. what makes us best friends. Yep. Okay, shall we go on? Oh, I want a hug now. Hug moment. Oh. Hugs, not drugs. Oh my God! I went into my school the other day, my elementary school, and there was a poster that said "Hugs, hugs not, not drugs." drugs. That's lovely, guys. Hugs, not drugs. Exactly. Don't do drugs, kids. It's really no, it's it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Uh, the places you could end up, you don't even want to know. No. You really don't want to, you know, drop the soap in gel. <laughs> or end up at Ovaltine, fighting yeah. on the mean streets of Chicago. We don't live in Chicago. What's well, I don't know, but it just sounds like a city that you would have to fight in, dude. You've got to fight in Chicago here in Austin. mean. Chicago doesn't seem like a shitty mean town to you. Not New a shitty, York. not New a York shitty mean town. Mean. I just mean like mean people could come from there. I would say New York more than anything. Or New, New York, Orleans. yeah, like uh, you're. I won't go. Out in Brooklyn and like people who Queens. get mugged there multiple yeah. times and then gotta move back fucking home because I can't handle it. I think that shit's funny. Oh my but friend. I don't, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who's gonna be seeing this video. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Can we move on now? Yes, we can move on. Number seven. If you could go anywhere in the world together, where would it be and why? I can answer that easy. I know where we would want to go. Well, no, shoot. Why don't you go first and tell me where, where, where would you like us to go and why? And then I'll go. I don't, I hadn't thought about like, you know, us together as a trip. I've never thought about this Because we would drive each other crazy. <laughs> I would drive her crazy. She has a thing where, you know, and it's funny because all my friends seem like this, but I'm totally opposite. She has this thing where she gets tired of people after so many hours with them. Like, they drive her insane and she's ready. She's like, okay, I've had enough of you time. Go away. Like, bye. Mm -hmm. I'll see you later. And, like, I never get like that. Like, I could spend a whole fucking month with her and she wouldn't bother me. I mean, she'd get on my nerves, but not enough to be like, okay, I can't handle you anymore. You're driving me insane. And I've just never been that kind of person. I don't know. I've always been like that ever since I was a little kid. I was just telling Darren about that the other day. About how, like, I would go over to my friend's house and I would have fun. And her parent, her mom was cool and we'd have a good time and, mm -hmm. you know, no problems, whatever. But then, like, I'd wake up the next day. <coughs> excuse me. And we'd eat breakfast and stuff. And, like, her, my friend would want me to hang out, like, all day. And, like, I had fun, but, like, I'm ready to go home. And, like... You know, go home to my stuff and my family. I get homesick. I get homesick, yeah. like, really bad. I do. I'm, like, almost 30. Oh, well, I'm 28, and I get homesick, like, bad. Like, we just when we left town for um, my Aunt Perry, who was sick, and we stayed in the hospital overnight, mm -hmm. I was, like, homesick. I was up till, like, 3 o'clock in the morning. Wow. I couldn't sleep at all because I was, like, homesick. I just want to be home, you know? Yeah. It's just how I am. But, yeah, I just can only stand people in, like, small doses. And that's how I knew that, like, I was seriously in love with Darren because I wanted to be around him, like, all the time. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm never like that with, like, anybody. Like, no. I never want to be around anybody all the time. No. I don't, so I don't really know where we'd want to trip together. Um, I'm trying to think of, like, your favorite foods and where, like, appropriate it to that. Um. I think what would be cool would be go somewhere super, super foreign for us. Maybe, like, Tokyo, like, um, Kyoto, Ooh. like, some cool city, like, in Tokyo, like, that in or around, fun. you know, Tokyo or somewhere. I think, because, you know, I mean, I'd like to, like, have Darren with us or something yeah. like that as, like, a guide or, like, I just, it's not so old-fashioned, but I do feel like it's good to have, like, a guy because especially in places like that, like, the women are so, like, submissive and stuff, like, you get on a train and shit, and they will, like, grab your ass and, like, your boob. And, like, women just stand there. They don't do anything about it. I'd like to Cause, see. Because, like, they're submissive. You know what I mean? I'd like to see some little dude in Tokyo try to grab my ass. <laughs> that would be funny. 
Yeah. So little, tiny I think guy. somewhere like that would be cool because we could do shopping. That would we be can, fun. You know, we could eat cool stuff and like you eat seafood, right? I do, but I've always said that if I ever go on a cruise again or if I go outside of the United States, not including Mexico, because again, Mexico is part of the United States. Well, not really, but to me it is. But if I go outside like Spain, Italy, Tokyo, Jamaica, anywhere over there, I will not be a vegetarian. I will eat meat. So, so you'll like experience everything. Yes, because I feel like, you know, when you go to a foreign place, food is a big part of their culture, right. you know? Just like religion exactly. or music. So I would, you know, forego being a vegetarian when I'm I think it's cool. I think it's open-minded to, like, be open to other people's cultures. You know what I mean? I always thought it would be cool to be an anthropologist. You know what I mean? And, like, or I don't know what you would call them. I always thought it would be, like, an anthropologist to, like, go, like, live with different tribes for, like, a year and just, like, live with them. Yeah, that would be awesome. Like, I think that would be cool. Like, imagine the stuff you would learn. You know what I mean? Yeah. About yourself, about the tribe, about, like, the world in general. Like, I think it would be kind of crazy. That would would be be cool. That would be pretty awesome. But that would be your job, would be, like, learn about them and their culture. Yeah. You know? Well, if we go to Tokyo, friend, I want to go and have the turtle soup, and they give you a little turtle heart and a shot glass, and you drink it. I want to have that. Okay, or uh, Ireland, I think, would be cool, Ireland. because at least they that's speak stuff thinking. that we would kind of understand. Would understand. Like, uh, yeah, I was thinking <laughs> Ireland, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, like somewhere where their accent might be really thick, but we could still understand them would be good. Yeah. Because I'm bad with accents I, anyway. Ireland's big on drinking, and I'm all about drinking. Yeah, and I mean, you could be like six and drink in Ireland or something, I think. So. Can you really? I don't know. I'm just kidding. Oh. Um, number eight. We have a lot of these questions. There's 22. Oh, Lord. Okay. Uh, number eight. Favorite, our favorite inside joke. Ovaltine? Ovaltine. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking the same thing. So for, okay, basically for you, those of you who don't know, those of you, those of you who don't know, those of you who don't know. Which is probably everyone. An oval teen is like a homeless teenager. Uh, now, a lot of you may be all like, oh my god, how come you're making fun of homeless teenagers? Well, I'll tell you why. Because we live in Austin, Texas, and where we live, they've moved like way north now. Like when we were teenagers, they weren't like north. Like, they were where downtown. We were at. They were all downtown. but Like on 6th Street. Now yeah. they're all like, they're spread out. They're spread now. Yeah, I saw a bunch of them actually, you know, on the south side, and they weren't downtown. They were like, now. Yeah, it used to be like they were just downtown. Now they're because they put that ordinance where they can't panhandle within like so many oh, yeah, that's right. feet or miles or whatever or whatever. So anyway, uh, basically Oval Teen is a homeless teenager and a lot of these teenagers do come from bad abusive families and this might be like the better alternative for them. There's tons of resources in Austin for them if they want to get off the streets yeah. and get a job and get help. There's the Art Center, which is right downtown, within walking distance of anywhere downtown. Yeah. If you want to go there, that's and a homeless shelter. across the street, you can go get you a warm meal for lunch. I mean... You know, so there are a lot of teenagers that, yeah, come from bad backgrounds and are homeless because of they'd rather be homeless and live in their bad backgrounds. But there are also teenagers who are homeless who are homeless by choice. That they don't come from a shitty background. They come from good middle class mm-hmm. families and they just don't want to do what mommy and daddy are telling them to do in order to keep paying the freaking freaking bills. You know what I mean? So Andrea and I, you know, when we were teenagers, we would make fun of the oval teens and we always used to joke together that like one day we'll never be able to find jobs. Like yeah. we're gonna be oval teens together. Pretty much. So like we used to joke about them, but we also used to say like one day we're gonna be one. And the reason it's called Ovaltine, I came up with it, is, you know, Ovaltine, the, the chocolatey drink, like Yahoo, but it's Ovaltine. Well, uh, we used to call them Hobo Teens, and Hobo Teen sounds like Ovaltine, Ovaltine. So it just flows better if you just say Ovaltine, and plus, that way you don't offend anybody. Yeah, it's like they an undercover know, word for yeah, us. They because, don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, we don't want to, like, I mean, you don't want to be sitting behind somebody with, like, really crappy hair and be like, oh my god, look at her hair. No, there are bitches who will do that, and yes. we are not those bitches. We no, will talk we behind your back where you can't hear us, or you don't know what we're talking about. You know what I mean? Like, we're that not sounds those, bad. That sounds bad, but we're not those bitches who are just going to, we're not like those high school mean girls who are just going to sit behind you and talk shit about you. Yeah. We'll do it where you don't hear us. I'll do it to my husband where nobody else hears me in the car on the way home, whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like. You know you all do it, so if you're sitting there saying that you never talk shit about anybody, then you're lying, so just saying. Yeah, but it's not like we would sit there and, like, really, because I don't want you to get the wrong impression about it. No, so we, we would wouldn't, like, hate on them. And we hate just, on like, walk by, and there's, like, 
Ovaltine sitting on the steps, yeah. like, hey, give us your fucking money, you know, and, and we're all like, what we uh, make fun no. of, like, what I thought was funny, it's like, you know, they're hobos, but how does this chick afford hair dye, like, I got my hair pink, you know, she's homeless, how in the hell can she afford $10 hair dye and to dye it funky Converse colors? Shoes and, like, yeah. expensive Converse so, shoes. To buy funky colored hair And tell me all these teens got, like, these days, they got, they all got cell phones. Yeah. Like, like, if you're a, a hope, a, a You should be, team, like, feeding yourself, not, like, buying a damn it. cell phone. I don't get it. So that's what we were making fun of. We weren't yeah. just making fun of, you know, like, hey, you're down on your you're, luck. No, no, it wasn't no, no, like no, no. that. Don't get the no, wrong idea. No, yeah. So, anyway, that's probably our most favorite inside joke is the oval teen. Yeah. Uh, number nine. Who takes longer to get ready in the morning? I'm going to say... Who? What the hell? I think it's funny that we were both like... <laughs> Bullshit, dude. I can get no, ready in 15 you. minutes. That's crap. <laughs> That's crap. I'm going to say you. I'm going to say her because of her hair. And I think it takes you longer to do your hair than it takes me to do my hair. Uh, well, Plus, I don't all, normally wear makeup. First of all, I don't really wear makeup when I go to work that much. Really. I just started recently, like I said. But uh, what I can do is I go to the restroom, brush my teeth, wash my face, put my clothes on. And put my hair in a ponytail or pigtails, and in 15 minutes, that's it. I'm done. That's, yeah, that's not me. See, no. so that's I gotta why take I a shower shoes. every morning. And I don't even take a shower. See, I take a shower. Yeah, I need to do like at least 30 at minutes. Yeah, you're right. I, need at least I, can't, 30 minutes. I can't come home after being on that bus with all the, especially because kids get sick, you know, on the bus, and I can't come home and sleep in my bed feeling all dirty. I gotta take a shower when I get home so I can go into my bed and feel comfortable, and then I'll just go to work the next day. I won't take a shower in the morning. I feel you. Okay. So I say her. Yeah, I agree. I can see. I agree because she's right. I do have to take a shower like before I go anywhere or do anything usually. So, um, favorite season. These questions are damn stupid. They don't say like, what's your favorite season? What's our favorite season? What's my favorite se favorite are, season? I already. We already. Is that, that ain't even a damn question? Favorite season. <laughs> What's your favorite season? I already know what her favorite season is. It's summer. That's simple. She likes the heat. She likes, you know, the sun and all that awesomeness. So I'm saying summer. Yeah, I like the swimsuits. I like, yeah. like, the swimming pools. Swimming. I like, like, tanning. <laughs> yeah. Even though I shouldn't. <laughs> um, I'm not bad about it. I don't do it a lot because I have too much tattoos. Too, many, too much tattoos. Too many tattoos to do it, really. But uh, I like the sun. I like being warm. Yeah. And for her, I'm going to say fall. That's just my best guess. Winter? Winter. Winter. Did you like the snows? I like the snows, the flurries, the and snow the flurries, snow cones, snow babies, snow and angels, snow gasm, snow, snow everything. Snow sickles. Snow sickles. <laughs> yeah. Snow everything. Snow I just plate. love cold weather. I cannot get enough of the cold. So I true. really should have been born in Alaska or Colorado. But you're a baby, so that works too. Yeah, somewhere Maybe that's cold. Why you like the cold. But it's just not, that's not cold in Texas. It's not. But I love Texas so much. I just love it. <laughs> okay. Uh, a favorite song? For you? Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh,. Oh, that's a toughie, because I don't know whether to say a Prince song or a Cure song. Um, but if I did say Cure, I don't actually know what your favorite Cure song is. So we'll say Prince, either Purple Rain or Little Nicky, and The Cure, um, uh, Letters to Elise. Yeah, that would be probably my favorite Cure song. Like, oh, I got it right? Because I'm, yeah, because yeah, I'm like... Yeah, my favorite band's The Cure or Prince. I mean, they're probably equal, you know. And yeah, Darling Nikki is probably like my favorite Prince song. Yeah, I'm sorry, not Little Nikki. I was thinking about the Adam Sandler movie. <laughs> That's okay. I thought Darling you said Nikki. Darling Nikki anyway. So yeah, it Darling Nikki. And yeah, uh, Letters to Elise is probably my favorite Cure song just because I'm kind of like obsessed with it. I'm going to feel bad because I don't know what your favorite band is and I have no clue what your favorite song is. Because Andrea has, like, really can, diverse now, music I can see taste. this as a one-sided relationship. I, am I supposed to be? I don't know. These questions are kind of vague. Um, my favorite band is Smashing Pumpkins. Because if I had to be oh, stranded on an island, I could take their melancholy and infinite sadness. And it ranges from relaxing, kind of almost classical music to, like, kind of, like, hard, rocky kind of. Not really hard, hard rock, but, you know, you could bang your head and do a mosh pit kind of thing. And your favorite song? 
uh, right now, actually, my favorite song that I can think of would be a Mumford & Sons song. Well, there's a couple, but I can never really say what, like, my favorite song is. I hate favorites like that because there's a bunch that are equally favorites. Um, I remember, this is nothing to do with the songs, but I remember when we were in high school, I think, and Darcy left the Smashing Pumpkins. Oh, yeah. And I was at home watching TV. I don't know where you were. I don't, you might have been at home, too, at your house. And I remember calling you and, like, leaving it on your answering machine. And I felt really bad. I felt like somebody had, like, died or something. Yeah. Because I knew she really loved the band at the time. This is something yeah. I have forgotten over the years. But, like, at the time, I knew she really loved the band. And so I just felt really bad because I thought, oh, crap. Like, she's going to be bummed. Like, I would be bummed if, like, Robert Smith left The Cure. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, it's that's sad. not The Cure anymore. Yeah. You know? Like, I kind of feel like when bands break up and get new members, it's not, it's never the same. No. It's you know? Not. Did she ever come back? No, she didn't. She never did. She's like, screw you guys, I'm going home. Mm -hmm. I would say, what's another favorite song? Ice Cube, Today Was a Good Day. Oh, I love part. that song. That's and then Gin song. and Juice by uh, Snoop yeah, Dogg. That's a good one, too. There's a bunch. Okay, oh, this is a good one. Number 12, what is it like being best friends with someone who is obsessed with YouTube? That's all you on this one. Um... I don't know. I haven't really noticed a difference, actually. There's nothing different about you. I don't, like... I haven't started, like, fully recording everybody and everything around me yeah. yet. So maybe yeah. if I start doing that, I might start annoying people this more. This is only our third video together. But I like it. I like, you know, doing videos together. Um, so really, n I don't see a difference. It's all good. And it's not like, you know, some of my other friends that uh, are constantly on their cell phones, like, during dinner. Like, I understand if somebody texts Mr. Tech message him back real quick. But if you're like, if we're like waiting for our food, instead of engaging in conversation, you're on your phone. And I ask them like, hey, you know, I, you know, would you put your phone away? And they're like, no, if you love me, you wouldn't ask me to put my phone away. And I'm like, it's like, no, if you love me, you would pay some attention to me. I'm like, I'm right I, don't, I don't come out so you can play with your phone. I come out to yeah, engage to hang with, out you, with to you, to hang out with you. And I don't That's understand. Rude. Not rude of you, but rude of you. I don't person. get it. You know, like, so, so you're not like that when we go out, you're in the moment with me we're hanging out I we're having a good be. time you know because so. we do have a good time there's what's the point in trying to like escape of what you're doing right now yeah like right now right now my yeah. phone i hear my phone is going oh i don't care yeah. i'm not going to jump up and grab it because we're having a good time not only we're recording but that's like whatever but, but yeah we're having fun yeah. so like why am i going to try to like take my attention away from you so I don't really That's think, the whole point of you being here. Yeah, I don't really think you're so obsessive because you haven't started that whole where you're on the YouTube on your phone and constantly on your phone looking at YouTube and doing things. And I don't think I'll ever get that bad. But there are some times where I'm like, I just got this box in. I, I got to record myself opening it. I don't want to open it until I can record it. Yeah, and you really want to open it, so you got to yeah. record it right so now. So I got to record it right now. Yeah, that's so I am bad about that stuff. And I'm just now starting to like look up other tags, like the boy husband slash boyfriend tag, the mom tag the best friend tag so I want to start doing like more fun tags not just reviews and stuff yeah. more stuff to like show my personality I guess you know because reviews are fun but like and they do show my personality but you can really only say so much about so much you know mm -hmm. so okay so you don't think it's that crappy to be no. friends with a friend obsessed with YouTube no. okay number 13 heels or flats I guess that's for me like you're supposed to answer for oh me. for you Wow, that's hard, because I know you like the short heel, like on the Mary like Jane. Like the kitten heel? Yeah, yeah, but then I do know you like your flats, too. So, equal? Yeah, I would go equal. It depends on, like, what's going on, what you're wearing, where you're going. Um, like, you know, some things it looks cool to wear heels with, some things it don't look cool. And for Andrea, I'm going to go with flats, just because, like, Flat foot. She's Can't flat footed. And also Ain't she happen. loves her some Vans tennis shoes. Any like comfy tennis shoes like that. Crocs. She loves them. I love Crocs. She I lives in like comfy shoes. I do. I, now don't get me wrong. If I could pull off uh, a blank me pump heel. An F me pump. Yes. An F me pump. I would totally do it because it's sexy as hell. Yeah. And, and I they really make your legs look good. And stuff. Yes. And then they tone your calves. 
But I yeah. can't do that again because my foot is super flat and it really makes me depressed. She has like literally no arch at all. No, like, like you know, like completely flat. You know when your kids, you know when your little kids and they do like the handprints and the footprints at school. Well, when I did my foot in paint, put it on. Is this it straight? wasn't in. No, it wasn't. No, my foot is so flat it didn't even go straight. It went out. Oh my goodness, really? Yes, when oh, you flatten wow. it, goes out. So, Aww. it Poor makes Andrea, me sad because I yearn feet. to wear heels, those beautiful red and black heels. <laughs> yeah, I'm all set. I think heels are pretty. Um, are. I like espadrilles because they're kind of like platforms. I don't know what that is, actually. It's like a platform. Think of platforms. Oh, okay. Like. Espadrilles are kind of like the quirky platformy ones. Oh. They're like sandals. Like, you could just slip into them, but they're kind of yeah. stacked. Those are nice because they give you, like, a good, like, even surface to walk on, but you're still kind of like this a little bit. Not bad. Gotcha. Not as bad, but. Uh, number 14, pants or dresses for me. Dresses. Yeah. I don't like pants. Like, I don't like shoes. Ooh, that's loud. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I don't like pants because I'm round like an egg. I'm, like, egg-shaped, but, like, upside down. And pants go, like, Vroop! Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. they just go... And also, I have to, like, wear a belt with everything. Even if the pants fit, I still mm -hmm. have to wear a belt because of my round belly. And, like, when I wear put the belt on so the pants can actually stay up, then I have, like, this giant roll. So, I just... I prefer dresses. I mean, they're just more comfortable for me. They look better on my body type and everything. Yeah. So... And for Andrea, I'm going to go, like, 50-50 on pants and dresses because she looks really cute in both. And um, I think she's she's started dressing way more girly in her older age, in her old age. <laughs> yeah, in my old age. Cause so I'm, I'm going to go 50-50 on that one. I would say, yeah, um, mostly I would be pants because they're just comfortable. And, you know, you can do more stuff in pants than you can in dresses. But I do really do like dresses. I've been starting to wear more. And they make me feel pretty. They make me feel sexy. Yeah, I like that. And for a big girl, you always, you know, it's hard to feel sexy sometimes. And sometimes it's hard to find clothes that fit good. Yeah, it's and hard dresses to find are dresses. like way. For me, dresses are way easier. For me, pants suck a ball. See, no pants. The only thing that is hard for me with the pants is they give you that extra like crotch room, so it looks like you know if you're a girl, it looks like you have a, a bulge like a penis, <laughs> which is unflattering because there's yeah. this big mass of jeans like when right you sit there. Down. Yeah. Or, or yeah, or when I stand because I'll pull them up and there's like this big bulge. And with dresses, it's hard because I can't hide my tummy in some dresses. You know, it looks like I'm pregnant and I'm not and. Again, Did I ever tell you about that time when me and Darren had first moved in together and we were shopping at that antique shop down on like Burnett Road and I had that, do you know that red and white like polyester top I got from Hot Topic that kind of like goes right here, it's like square, it's got big red buttons here, it kind of, it's kind of like umpire waist or empire waist where it mm -hmm. goes here and then kind of flares out a little bit. I had that shirt on with like a pair of shorts. And I was talking about picking up a picture for my grandmother, and I bought this, like, little bird picture for my grandmother, and when we were leaving, the lady goes, oh, good luck with your pregnancy, I hope the grandmother likes her picture. <laughs> like, I wasn't saying this is for a nursery, I wasn't saying we're gonna have a baby, she just assumed, because I'm fat, and because of what I was wearing, that I was pregnant. Wow. I didn't say anything. You would have been like, uh, I'm not pregnant. You probably would have said something. I didn't say anything. I don't think I would have said anything because I would have been She was like an older lady. And I would have just walked off and... I did. I just kind of like, I was like, okay, thanks. Yeah. I was just thinking like, you're crazy. I don't know. But it's just the shirt. And like later, like I went home and I told my dad about it. Like, because I was like wearing the shirt. And I went home and I told my dad about it or whatever. And my dad was like laughing. And I was like... <laughs> Do I look pregnant in this shirt? He's like, well, you know, maybe a little and yeah. whatever. And I was just like, ah. Yeah, because there's some shirts that I have where my mom tells me I look pregnant. And it's always the ones that come right under the And those are the, the ones cringe. that are made just supposed to hide all that stuff. And it, No, and it really doesn't. Y'all think you're trying to help us out, but it, it just looks like maternity clothing. Yeah, it just makes us look bigger. It does. Okay, number 15. What's my favorite animal? I don't know, but I'm going to say panda now because you got a panda hat. Squirrel. Oh, God, I knew that. Oh, how could I be so stupid? 
That's okay. That I no. I feel bad. I want to. I want to re like a recount. I want to redo this. I, I knew recount. that. I, I knew ain't it. no damn vote, girl. I knew it because she's got the squirrel tattoo, and it's one of her favorite memories with her grandfather. And I even brought her squirrel candle. So I totally knew that. It just it didn't click in. That's okay. And I don't know what her favorite animal is. I'm gonna go with a leopard or a cougar, because she wants to be all old and dating yet not young. No, no, I don't. What? <laughs> I don't know. I was trying to make a joke, and it didn't turn out at all like okay. I was hoped. Okay. What is your favorite animal? Um, a cat? I don't really have one, but I guess it'd be like something like maybe a black panther. So or... I wasn't that far off. No. A sexy cat of some sort. Yeah. Um, yeah, I really don't actually have a favorite animal. Or a we uh, not a werewolf. A werewolf. Yeah, God. I was going to say, like, a vampire. <laughs> no, a vampire is her favorite animal. I would I would say either vampire. a panther, like a black panther, or a, um, I keep wanting to say werewolf, or a wolf. <laughs> a werewolf is her favorite animal. Or a wolf. For the canine part. I'm going to step out of the camera and get some Pepsi because my throat is really dry. Okay, while she's doing that, I'm going to ask the next question. Okay. Which is number 16. We're almost done. If your house was burning down and your entire family was sure to be okay, including the pets, of, you know, the whole family, uh, what would you save and why? The whole entire house is burning down, you say? Yeah. Am I answering for you? You answer for you and I'll answer for me. Okay. I'm sorry this is confusing. I'm going to answer for me. Read it again to me real quick. Okay. If your house was burning down and your entire family, including your pets, I just added that part in, okay. was sure to be okay because they're part of your family, what would you save and why? I wouldn't save anything. My honest and true answer is I would let myself die in the house fire because... I would be so devastated that I had just lost everything. Even if my mom was okay and my pets, and I mean, I just, I couldn't do it. I just couldn't. I would well, just you can replace, myself, duh. I've, I've never been that kind of person where like, oh, it's just a thing you can, no, things cost money. Money to me means a lot, people. And I know it sounds bad, but that's just how I am. And it has taken me a long time to get all the stuff that I like and I enjoy, that I love, that are my things. And if they were just burnt up to ashes, I mean, I'm sorry. You really that's think not you would rather die than, than and I know it sounds give up morbid, your earthly possessions? But yes, I would. Just like if somebody was going to carjack me, I would look him dead straight in the face and I'd say, shoot Shucker, me. shoot me because I ain't moving my fat blankety blank off of this car <laughs> because I worked too blankety hard. Blank. I worked too hard to pay for this truck. So you know what, fool? Either you can just run off and call it even. Or you can shoot me and go, you know, maybe possibly and go it, to jail because I ain't surrendering my car to you. It's only even if you then try to carjack him. Yeah. So, um, I would just let myself burn. <coughs> I mean, you don't have to let yourself burn. You don't have to let anything or anybody burn. If there's, okay, if, well, if there's only half of my stuff gone, I would try to put out the fire with the firefighters. It says, what would you save and why? That's the question. Not, I would just kill myself. I would. I would just, I'd commit suicide. <laughs> That's Damn it to hell. <laughs> Damn it to hell, all of it. I would just kill That's myself. That's my answer. I would commit Harry Carey, just F it all. F the world and everything in it. That's my answer. I'm but saying, like. Fine. If I had to save something, it would be. Like maybe my laptop because it has a lot of photos on it, so that's okay, a lot of memories. That's good. But actually, my ass would be trying to. I'd be looking like a thief. I'd be like, you know, pulling in my DVD, the laptop, the TV, throwing it out the window, trying to get as much stuff as I could. Okay, that's fine. Clothes I can replace. That clothes don't mean that much to me. That's okay. I was gonna say people would give you like donations. I mean, you have donations like clothes and bedding yeah. and. You know. It's just like when you think about it, if you really never think about it, sit back and think about all the stuff that you've accrued over the years, all the stuff that you love, like take all my Twilight stuff, all my new kids on the block stuff, all things that my friends but have given to me. But you're saying that your me. life is not, does not equal the amount of this shit that you own? You're saying this shit that you own is more important to you than your life is? Yeah, I've always been that kind of person. I always have. My shit that I own means the world to me, and if I didn't have it, I mean... If I lost it all in just one shot, 
that would devastate me. Either I, I might, I actually might have to be committed because either I would have to kill myself or go into Shoal Creek and be committed. Shoal Creek, uh, in Austin is like the mental institution. Yeah, because I'd probably be it's like depressed, crazy house. devastated. I'd go cuckoo. Okay, well, I'll answer this now. <laughs> you answer it. Because it got all morbid and you're I know, like, dude. I can't believe you're like this. <laughs> Jesus. Um, so, number 60, if your house is burning down and your entire family was sure to be okay, what would you save and why? Mine would be um, my diamond earrings. They're like really, t they're antique. My diamond earrings that my grandmother gave to me when I was 10. Um, they were the first piece of jewelry that my grandfather bought for my grandmother ever. So, like. When they were dating, he bought them for her. And she gave them to me when I was, like, 10. Um, so they're, like, probably my prized possessions. Just because he bought them for her. I just, yeah. like... Um, I'd also have to grab my grandfather's wedding band, assuming I didn't have it on. Because his wedding band is now my wedding band. Um, and it means, like, everything to me. It's probably my most significant thing. Uh, my doggy blanket. Because it's, like, my safety blanket. I've had it since I was, like, two years old. I still have it. And I'm going to go with Andrea and say, like, a computer because, like, I do have a lot of pictures and stuff saved online. I would at least like to be able to get online and, like, let people know, like, hey, I'm okay. Like, you know, it sucks. It's crappy. I lost all my stuff, but I'm not dead. So yeah. that's what I would say. And for my non-morbid answer would be, again, the, the laptop with the pictures plus my prized possession that my grandmother gave me when I was in middle school. It's a spoon ring. Um... And I've had it for a long, long time. So I would take this. Because I wouldn't be wearing it. Because I don't wear it at night. I put it away. Because it's like um, metal. So it actually rusts my finger. So I, I don't even know if I'm getting like lead poisoning or whatnot. But I've been wearing it for You're years. Like, I don't care. I don't care because my grandmother gave it to me. Again, see, it's always about the things. I just don't care about myself. <laughs> That's so bad. But the other thing would be um, actually a wedding ring too. That it was my grandmother's that my grandfather gave her. Like the jewelry that I have from my, my grandparents. Yeah, see, that would be me, because, like, that's probably the most significant yeah. thing that I own, yeah. is, like, my grandfather's wedding band. And hopefully one day, like, I could pass that on to my kids if they exactly. want. If not, the little shits can go to hell. I'll just keep it till I die. I'll be cremated with the damn thing on. Screw my future children! Oh my god, so hateful. I don't know. Wait, Whatever, you guys don't Do you want to be yet. cremated? Yeah, dude, I don't believe in being buried and taking up space. High five! Like cremation. I feel, I feel like people take up enough space while they're alive. I don't think exactly. I mean, like, do you, I we're mean, gonna run out of space. And you to also realize, people. like, how much money one person costs, like, in their lifetime. How much money one per in space one person takes up in their lifetime. Like, I don't see a point in taking up any more space than and, once and also, you're gone. Cremations are cheaper. They're like that's my that's what my mom always says. Thousand dollars cheaper than having to pull out a coffin and a space in the That's cemetery. what my mom always says. She's like, it's Everything. cheaper. It's and all of us want to be cremated. My mom, my dad, I, and my husband. We all want to be cremated. Me too. Me, all my mom, us. my dad, we all want to be cremated. Yeah, we're all the same. I didn't know that about you guys. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. Cool. I think it's cool. <laughs> and, and they have nice stuff. You can put them in little urns and things. Like, for me, I feel like, you know, like, for my grandfather who passed away in 1999, his, his um, grave site is, like, six hours away from where I live. So I've never been back since, like, his funeral. Mm -hmm. But for me, like, I don't really look at it like that's where you go to, like, visit that person. I look at it like you can just talk to yourself to visit that person or talk to the person to visit that person or, like, talk in your head to visit that person or just think about them. Like, I don't think you have to go physically visit a, yeah. bo a dead body to, like, feel that you're connected with somebody. I feel like he's a part of me. He always will be a part of me. The way, like, he helped influenced me when I was growing up still influences me today it has to do with like how I react to stuff and how I act about things and stuff like that so yeah I want to be cremated and I don't care what you do with my ashes you can keep them toss them into the wind I don't care I'm gonna be dead and gone I don't care what you do with my body if I have kids which I do want kids I would uh, want them to spread them somewhere like Italy I would I would say my heritage so that would be in Czech or Czech Republic now. are you Czech gonna divide them yeah um, Ireland, Scotland, um, I know I'm not Italian, but I just, that would be really nice because I want to be It's so Italy. pretty, like, Tuscany. Yeah, like, and I, and, and not, not like, you know, the trendy stuff where, like, all the Armani and Versace shops are. No, I want, like, the old countryside, the beautiful. Yeah, like Tuscany. Tuscany hills. Yeah, yeah that kind of stuff. 
Um, and then like Japan, not like Tokyo, but like back, you know, where there's monks and the beautiful cherry blossom trees and the mountains and just, I want, you know, nature. That's what I want. Well, this all came from if your house is burning. What would you save and why? Oh, yeah. We're still on that question. We're still on that. I don't know how we ended up with, like, nature in Japan and stuff. That's because we, we were dying. We got to the oh. cremation. <laughs> this is how our conversations go. Let's move on. That's okay. why we're always so good together, because we can, like, go We through. can talk for, like, hours. Yeah. Okay, number 17, comedy, horror, chick flick. Rom-com. Wait, wait, am I guessing for you? Are we guessing? What guess we for again? me. You can guess for me. Wow, really? Is that what you're guessing? No. That oh, was, that was for you? I, I would say indie. That's not a suggestion. It's not one saying, on there. Well, damn it, it's going to be because I'm it's saying play, indie. Comedy, horror, or chick flick? We got to pick out of those three first. Comedy, horror, chick flick. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Not, I'm Sorry. torn between comedy and chick flick. I'll just say chick flick. Really? Oh, I'm not saying shame that. upon my family. I know I'm not saying horror because I never see you watch horror movies. I love horror movies. Those are my favorite movies to watch. Wow, I feel bad now because I've never seen her watch a horror movie. Shame upon. The only horror I know is Rocky Horror Picture Show, and that's that the only is a good one. Movie. I've never. And seen the name it. is very like. Doesn't make sense. Deceiving. Yeah. I, I don't really. I've never seen you watch a horror. What what horrors do you like? I love all of the Saw movies. I don't know if you can call those horror movies. I love all of the Saw movies. Freddy Krueger is my favorite. I'm sorry, yeah, again, in uh, space, I knew Freddy Krueger was her favorite. Um, I don't know, stuff like that. But I wouldn't guess that it was Anything gory, like any of the, like, like, I have seen all, I haven't seen the newest one, the third one, but I've seen the Paranormal Activity movies, like, I went and saw the first one in the theater just because, like, I have to wait until they, like, really strike me as, like, this is going to be a good horror movie, because so many of them I see look stupid, and yeah. I like them. I don't, That's probably why I don't see me watching many. Yeah, okay, your, your turn, so I was wrong. So for you, I would say out of comedy, horror, chick flick, I would say chick flick. Yes. Because you watch a lot of stuff that I'm not, I don't, yes. I have no interest in watching. Yes, I'm a hardcore chick flick because I'm going to movies to escape life and I want to see a fairy tale ending, baby. That's what, that's what mama wants to see is somebody happy. I have gotten more into chick flicks lately because, like, they make me cry and be all yeah. happy and stuff, you know? And it's okay to cry. You don't have to be ashamed of it. It's okay. Yes, yeah, so chick flick or a rom-com, even though it's not a choice, a romance I would say a romantic comedy is, like, the same as, like, a chick flick. Okay, then, yeah. You know? I like that. And I'm, I'm partial to indies, too. I like indies quite a bit. Yeah, I love independent movies, and I love documentaries, which are usually independent movies as well. I They're probably always independent movies. Cause documentaries are okay. I'm not a big doc. I love documentaries. But I do love horror, but not this Saw bullshit. Oh, sickening. I'm tired of all these crappy torture films. That's not horror. That's just sad. It's like psychological I thriller, want, I guess. I want to see, like, Bela Lugosi kind of shit you know Lon Chaney the wolf man yeah baby I want to see some like that's why you watch Twilight you just brought up a vampire and a werewolf slash wolf man okay <laughs> this is where you get Twilight I know that's what you call Twilight that's not Twilight. a horror movie Twilight's that's not horror. sparkling vampire whose hair goes like this I caught that angle earlier and you see this from from the side yeah. okay it's it's like the new take on the flock of seagulls instead of like like that, it's like that. Um, what does your bracelet say? It's a Twilight bracelet that says, I oh run God. with Oh, God. Okay, go ahead. I gotta represent Twilight, That's but okay. I, um, Twilight's different. You know, I like Twilight because it's a chick flick. That's okay. Kinda you can sorta. like Twilight. But I like the old school horror, like, you know, back in the day, you know, cat people, you know, all the good stuff, like actual horror, like from the 30s and 40s and 50s. Um, I don't like the new torture horror stuff like Hostel. And I didn't like Hostel. That movie was too graphic even for me. Yeah. Hostel, yeah. I Hostel like makes that. me sad because now I'm afraid to travel to my own people's country because that's where Hostel took place. Where? And I'm scared. Czech Republic. That's where Hostel oh, was oh, oh, oh. Okay. taking place at. Oh. Okay. The computer's like, hey guys, uh, did you forget about me? <laughs> Okay, number 18, Blackberry or iPhone? For 
for oh, I'm guessing for you. I'm gonna say for you a BlackBerry. I'm gonna say neither smartphone. Okay, well, well you made me change Android. on the list. She made me choose on the list. Well, this list one, must so. be old. The smartphone's not come out when this list was. So I'm saying BlackBerry, but yeah, I would say for her then if I didn't have to a smartphone. Okay, for or me. Or Android, whatever. From the list. Blackberry or iPhone? I'll go with iPhone because Andrea had like an Android before I did. Nope, I don't like iPhone. I don't like Apple. Well, um, I mean, but like. I would choose Blackberry. Can we just say Android and iPhone are like the same thing? I don't know. And Blackberry is like separate because it has like a separate keyboard? I don't know. I don't really know. Let's go with. I'm going to go with iPhone slash Android. And yeah, because mine, if, if we're not picking from that list, would be an Android. Okay, uh, number 19, favorite movie. My favorite movie. Favorite. 